Good evening, good evening. Good evening, miss. Good evening. How are you, Caro? Super, miss. <laughs> Very good. It's Friday. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. What are your plans for the weekend? Um, I, this weekend, yeah, I'm rested. You will rest? Yes. Rest. Great. Good for you. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And let's see. Hello, Tony. How are you? Very fine, teacher. And you? How are I'm, you? I'm great. Happy okay. because it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday and the body is enough. The body knows. <laughs> the body knows. And tell me, Tony, what are your plans for the weekend? Mm, I have a medical uh, appointment. Appointment. Um, uh, she take my tits, my tits. Yes. My okay. Tits. All um, right. Uh, I have a lot of work to do in, in the weekend, and I need some time to make a little, a little adjustments. But um, normally, my family is first, and then the Saturday in the afternoon is all for day, and the Sunday too. All right. Well, it seems that you will be very busy on weekend. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you enjoy. And the rest, welcome to the class, everybody. I want to see you. Tell me, what are your plans for the weekend? Aha, uh -huh, anyone? Who else is there? I can see Celia, I can see Stephanie. Um, and I can see other ones, but it says that they are listeners. All right. So I was checking the platform, everyone. I could see some of you already finished uh, the exercises for the week number one, week number two, and also the exam. And let me tell you that I feel really happy with the scores because I could see very, very good scores in the exam. So excellent job, everybody. For the ones who hasn't finished um, or hasn't taken the exam yet, you have to do it today, please, because remember, I, I need to upload the grades, okay? So try to do it as soon as possible. Please read carefully so you can get a very good score. Remember that the idea is that you get more than 80%, okay? If you have questions or something, you can also ask me and I can try to help you. But Honestly, most of the people that already took uh, the exam, actually they got a very, very good score. So nice job, everyone, congratulations. Now, um, there are some people that haven't finished the platform. I'm talking about the week number two. So for the ones who hasn't finished, again, you had to do it. Remember everyone that is not optional, all right? Remember that the platform is something that you have to complete. It's an obligation, all right? So please do it. Now, according to the homework, remember that uh, yesterday I told you that there will be a homework, a written practice. Only six people did the homework, okay? So how is that possible? I know that you are very busy. I totally understand, but remember that in the homework, I'm not asking something so difficult to do, right? I said that it was just a paragraph, just a little paragraph. And the things that you have to write there, it was very simple. Actually, it was just about your job, about the tasks that you do in your job. 
And basically that is what we studied here in the class. So I told you that it has to be a paragraph around three or five sentences. So very, very short. And even though only six people did. So mm -mm, that's no good. Remember everyone that this is a practice. Okay, so it's supposed that you have to practice as much as possible. I have reading a, well, I've been reading all the answers that your classmates uh, sent. And actually, guys, let me tell you, for the ones who did the homework, let me tell you that their writing was really good. So I feel really proud of you. I'm waiting for the rest of you. So I hope you do the homework could be today or during the weekend. So I can read all of them. And if I see like common mistakes, I can give the feedback in general on Monday, okay? Because remember the idea is receive the feedback and improve, okay? But I cannot give the feedback if you don't do the homework. Um, I can see some people did the homework in the notebook. Um, it's okay. So if you did it in the uh, notebook, open up the link that I sent yesterday and just retype what you did. Okay, so I can read the answer. It will be easy. Okay, well, but it's Friday, everyone. It's Friday, so... Uh-huh, tell me, what are your plans for the weekend? Anything interesting? Uh-huh. Nothing, really, only work? Bowl oh, is the Sunday. I'm sorry? The Super Bowl, it's the Sunday, and I want This Sunday, to see. really? Yes. All right, so you see, you have something to watch on TV. Okay, well, if you don't have plans, let's start. And I can see a little cat over there. That's cute. Okay, it's, it's in Jorge's camera. Jorge, you have a very beautiful cat. <laughs> you know, cat. I have a cat that is black too, so it, it's I very have nice. Two. I two. Have two. Yeah. Because um, the ones um, when um, when it born, uh, uh, nothing that that I wanted, <laughs> and I rescue. Ah. And the second one, um, my son. Uh, I uh, get and the uh, both are black. All right, nice. Okay, very beautiful. I like this. Thanks. Very good. Okay, everyone, I'm sharing the presentations for today. Can you see it? Yes, miss. Excellent. So today is February 10th. All right. And basically we are finishing the week number two so time flies imagine two more weeks and this level is over okay so please again be careful with the attendance remember attendance is obligation too you had to be in the class every single day and try to stay the two hours so you can get the full percentage in the attendance. Two more weeks, everyone. Okay, let's try to do the effort. Okay, now today, basically what we're gonna do is to review and practice all the topics that we have been starting during this week, all right? So in this moment, if you have questions or if there is something that you don't understand, tell me so I will help you. Also, the idea is to learn vocabulary that we can use during our daily life, okay? So this is a class objective. At the end of the class, I want you to be able to use correctly the simple present. So 
no more mistakes in the simple present. That's the idea. Well, in the simple present, can you tell me everyone, what is the difference in third person? What is the characteristics when we are talking in third person? The use of the letter S. Correct, very good. So imagine, can I say something like, mm, he run in the park? He runs in the very park. Very good. How about if I have a frequency other? Can I say, he never run in the park? No, he never runs in the park. Great job, exactly. So it doesn't matter if I have the frequency Albert. I always need the letter S. Now, he runs in the park. I want to say that sentence, but in negative. What would be the negative sentence? He doesn't run in the park. All right. Do I need the letter S? No. If, if it is negative? Use does, doesn't. Good because job. the auxiliary is present. When the Very pres good. When the auxiliary is present, it's not necessarily the letter S. Great job. Very good. Now, if I want to ask, what will be the question? He runs in the park. Does he? run in the park great job okay if the answer is yes yes he does good if the answer is no no he doesn't easy cheesy very good job everyone excellent so let's complete some sentences with the simple present form and the verb there is in parentheses. This exercise is in your manual, so we can go to the page 28. And uh, let's see, let's see here. So if you got your manual, go to the page 28. So I will need volunteers to complete the sentences, okay? Look at the number one, it says death, and then I have the verb work. So that means that the sentence is affirmative. So what will be the complete sentence here? Jeff, Jeff works. works. Ah, like this? No, S, only S. Ah, only the letter S. All right, great job, great job. So Jeff works from 6 a.m. to 4 a.m. Oh, sorry, 4 p.m. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Number two says Jen and Pete. I need a volunteer for reading the full sentence, please. What will be the answer? Jane and Pete clean the tables every day. Thank you. Do I need the letter S? No, because it's they. They is not their person. Very good job. Exactly. It's not their person. So we don't need it. All right. I'm going to pick someone. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to pick two. Eh, 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 eh. Carol, hello, Carol. Hello, Miss. Can you tell me uh, the next sentence? It says not, Mark. so it has to be negative. Mark doesn't take order on Wednesdays. Okay. Do I need the letter S in the verb? Yes or no? Um. Yes. So doesn't takes? Takes. No, take. Ah, very good. <laughs> exactly. I don't need letter S anymore because I have the auxiliary. Great job. Okay, next one. Um, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Stephanie. 
Stephanie, are you there? Okay, Tony, continue with yes, the... Yes, I'm here. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Okay, number four. What will be the answer? Okay, our restaurant opens from a night... Yes. Okay. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Very good. So, look at this sentence. It says our right but it's not talking about we it's talking about the restaurant so third person great job okay tony number five please yes our boss spends much time in the restaurant all right very good so look spends again we are talking about he third person great job Let's see, let's see who's next. I'm going to pick um, mm, mm, Abigail Bonilla. Okay, Abigail, can you give me the number six? Mm, we uh -huh. close, no, we don't close on Sundays. All right, that's great. If you see everyone, in this case, the auxiliary is don't, is not third person. Great job. Okay, the last one. Volunteer for telling me the last one, please. They expect to have more clients this week. All right. If you see in this one, no changes. Very good, it's affirmative. Is about day, so it is not third person. So everyone, if you see, simple presence is kind of easy, right? You just have to pay attention if you are talking about third person or not, okay? Simple as that. Any question about the simple present? Questions? No? Easy, yes? Hmm, okay, I hope so. Let's do another practice. We are going to have like a quiz. And I have some sentences for you. I just want you to read the sentences and choose the correct answer. I want to see what your score will be. So look at the first sentence. Do you, da 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 da, -da chocolate milk? So in the options, I have like, likes or be like what would be the correct answer like only like yeah okay very good do you like chocolate milk how about the number two everyone he mm? does not okay he does not want to go to the movies number three Plays tennis. He plays tennis now. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Can I say he wants breakfast now? Or he walks home now? What do you Third, mean? I think that is that it's correct. He walks, and and the same that he plays tennis. If you Both see, are correct. Exactly. If you see, all of this one has the letter S, right? So we could pick each of them. Very good. Number four. Where to be? Is it is a beautiful day today? Great job, excellent. Number five. Sorry, Lisa is not here at the moment. Cool, very nice. So number six. Look at this, everyone. They're not here. They.
They are on holiday. They are on holiday. That's good. If you see, we are using verb to be here. That's why in the second sentence, we use verb to be too. Number seven, Robert. Does not. Does, does not, does correct. Not. Very good. I cannot use the verb to be in this sentence because I have another verb. Number eight, my parents. Live in a two bedroom apartment. Live or leaves? Live. Leave. In this case, I don't need the letter S. Is third person, yes or no? No, ellos. No, because it's plural. <laughs> Correct. We, what do you think? We are uh, European. We are European. European. And the last one, you. Look. No. You look. Be, no, be. You be so happy today. You seem so happy today. That's the one. So if you see simple present, a quick exam, very good answers, everyone. So if this will be your exam, you will get 10. Perfect. Any questions so far, everyone, about simple present? No questions? Okay, now I'm going to do it girls versus boys. So let's see who is going to get more correct answers. So let's start with the girls. The first question, only the girls can answer, okay? Only the girls. So girls, look at this sentence and choose the correct option. What does Mary do before going to bed? One, two, three, or four? Two. Which one? Two. 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 <laughs> There's heat. Okay, number two, let's see. Great, that's good, very good, very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Boys, it's your turn. David and Sarah usually? Walk. Walk, are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see. Agree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what was the answer? Jog. What is the meaning of jog? Trotter. Exactly. So look at the picture. The picture I is the reference. That, <laughs> this guy are running. Eh? A walk. <laughs> All right. Sorry, boys, but, but no uh, point. Okay, for the, girls. For the video. <laughs> All right. Girls, Sorry, it's your turn. But... Uh, don't be, no worries. Okay, girls, what time does Mike have breakfast? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, okay. Very good, very good. Okay. Mm, Oi. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh-huh. So boys, what do you think? What is the correct answer? Don't. Don't. So Mike and Anne don't have breakfast. Are you sure? Yeah. Definitely. Very good job. All right. All right. Girls, it's your turn. It's a good sound effects. The cricket. <laughs> Uh-huh, girls. 
Cook. 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 Ok. Yes. Ok, let's see. Nice. The girls are on fire. Very good, girls. Ok, boys. You have to choose two words. So, Sam, da -da -da -da, read a book. <laughs> Sam don't doesn't and draws. Okay, boys. Boys. Doesn't and draws. Doesn't and draw. Okay, doesn't and draw. So number one. Yes. Yes. Good job. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay, number well, girls, is your turn. Aha, this is a question. No, they don't. Okay, uh, where is it? Okay, no, they don't. Let's see. Nice. All right, boys, what do you think? Get up. Get Ni de exorcismo. <laughs> okay, so she Is gets up. During airquake. <laughs> could be, could be. Yeah, that imagine. Así se ven algunos en la mañana. I know, I know. Three in the morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, too. Why, my goodness. Okay, very good, boys. Girls, this is the last one for you. So, what is the answer? Study. Number four. The number four. Study. Okay. Study or studies? Number study. one. Number only, one. only the girls, only the girls, boys. No, 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 no. She, she <laughs> says number... study, no study. study. She <laughs> says study. No, no, no. The four, the four, or the three, the three. The first. <laughs> Studies, correct, girls. Good job. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Number four. Number four. Thanks. <laughs> now you're looking at the picture, huh? Mm -hmm. Is she well. is she walking or running or driving? Uh -huh. Because it's for the men, probably you see the the girl is running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the difficult one, the difficult one is for us. Mm, could be, but look at the picture. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, so walks. Okay. Walks, correct, good job. But the winners were the girls. Good job, girls. Always the winners. Good job. Marufia, Marufia. Ah, yeah, come it's on. like a FIFA. Why? <laughs> no. No, no, come on. Here is totally clear, okay? Aquí no hay amaño. We are totally honest, okay? Can you see the bar? <laughs> yeah, can you see the bar? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, now, eh, ¿quieren la revancha or later? Mm. ¿De cuánto estamos hablando? Uh, we are talking about $500. Okay, Tony. <laughs> Okay, let's do it, but uh, because of the time, we are not going to finish the game, okay? Because the girls were the winners, girls start, boys, you will be later. Now, this is the question. This is just about simple present. If you see, we have sentences in affirmative, negative, and questions. Also, we have the other options, simple present to always in affirmative, negative, or questions. 
The idea is you can pick the category that you prefer and you can pick the number. If you pick 100, the question is easy. If you pick 500, well, the question is a little bit more difficult, okay? So it's your decision which category and which number you want to ask. And of course, if you cor answer correctly, so you will get the points. Is it clear, everyone? No. No? Por los amaños. No, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with the girls. Girls, which category do you prefer? Simple present affirmative, negative or question. Simple present two, affirmative, negative or question. Choose one. Simple present. Affirmative, negative or question. Mm, affirmative. Okay, this is the category, simple present, affirmative. So 100, 200, 300, 400, or 500? 300. Okay, this is the question. Complete the sentence. The verb is cook and remember that is affirmative. What is the complete question? My I'm mother sorry. cooks for us, us every day. Are you sure? Yes. Cooks. Good job. So girls, you got 300 points. Very good. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Choose a category. Simple present two. Simple present two? Okay. How much? 400. 400. Yeah. She has eggs and beans for breakfast. She has. Has. She has. Has. She has. <laughs> nice. You see, easy. Very good. Simple no. present is easy. Okay, boys, you got 400 points. Girls, it's your turn. Mm. Simple present, negative. Uh huh. 500. 500. I like that. Okay. Andale. The princess doesn't want to get married. Okay. Doesn't want. Are you sure? Yes. Doesn't. Yes. Doesn't. Okay. Doesn't, definitely. Mm -hmm. Remember, princess is in singular. It's not plural. Great job. Okay, boys. Simple present affirmative. Okay, simple present affirmative. 500. All right. My brother goes the park to the park on weekends. Are you sure? Yeah. Definitely, you see everyone? Easy, very good, very good. Girls, go ahead. Question. Simple, Simple present. present question. Okay, how much? Mm, 500. 500. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is the question here? Do you fight with your brother every day? All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, very good. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Simple present two. Uh -huh. Okay. 500. He walked his dog at the park. Very good. Easy teasy. Okay, girls. The negative present question, 500. Uh, simple present two, negative? Yes. 
Okay, 500. My teacher doesn't give us homework. All right. <laughs> Completely correct. Okay, boys. Simple present two question. 500, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Does your brother go out every day after school? Cool, very good, very good. Okay, everyone, um, because of the time, right? Um, you can pick one more, but let's see. In this one, because this is the last one, boys, ustedes elegirán la categoría de las girls, and girls, you will pick the ones for the boys. Okay, boys, choose for the girls. Simple present question. Simple present or simple present two? Simple present two. Okay. Question, which one? Uh, <laughs> Tony, my goodness. You are so 400, evil. 400. 400, okay. Yes. Girls, complete the question. They like to watch comedy on TV. Question, Eberra. It's a oh, question. Sí, yes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Can you repeat? Do they like to watch comedy on TV? That's correct. Very good. Okay, girls, pick. Oops, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, girls, pick a category for the boys. Um, simple present two. Uh -huh. 300. Affirmative, negative, or question? Question. 100. I'm sorry? Question. Yes, uh -huh. question. 300. And the men's are bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, no didn't, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. Uh-huh. Do you help your friends in homework? All right. Correct. Very good. So look at this, everyone. It's a tie. Congratulations, both of you. A man by the woman. One oh, because, because 100. Tony, Tony, well, I'm Tony, too good. I'm too good for you. Yeah, actually, Tony was very considerate because he gave them 400 and the girls. And listen, the girls were saying 100, 100. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay, super good. But the idea is to practice simple present. So if you see, it's very easy to do that. What happens, guys, is that you have to be careful in the third person, especially when you are speaking. I know that when we are doing the exercise, it's kind of easy to identify, ah, it's third person, so I need to add the letter S. Good, but the problem is when you are speaking, because when we are speaking, sometimes oof, we forgot. And we say, yes, she go, she go to work. Mm -mm, all right, so especially when we are talking, we need to apply the letter S. Try to exaggerate it, please. All right. Now, let's continue. I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see it? Yes. yes Excellent. Teacher. So during this week, we were talking about daily tasks. So let's continue. Uh, we are going to have a practice about it. And here I have a church paragraph and I want you to complete this. This uh, is a guy, his name is Ellen. 
And here I got different vocabulary. I want you to complete this paragraph using these phrases, all right? So the number one is already answered. My name is Alan and from the United States, but I live in Tokyo. So I'm going to give you, uh, let's see, three minutes, okay? Analyze the paragraph, try to answer in your notebook, and then we are going to see the answers, okay? You have three minutes. Check the answers. If there is a word that you don't understand, tell me so I will help you. Two more minutes. If you have a question, please just let me know. We are going to try to check the answers. You can answer in your notebooks and then we are going to check if the answers are correct or not. Go ahead. Okay, you ready, everyone? Do you have your answers ready? No, teacher, I need more time. Okay, no worries. I will give you more time. If you have a question, everyone, tell me, I will help you. I want to everybody tries to do the exercise, please. So please, in your notebooks, try to answer, and then we're going to verify if the answers are correct or not. Go ahead, I will give you two more minutes.
Okay, finished? Let's see if the answers are correct or not. So everyone, look at the number two. It says, okay, um, I live in Tokyo. I'm a journalist. I work. Work. Do you agree, everybody? I agree. Work. Yes. All right. Yes. Very good. So I work for an English language magazine. What else? I write. I write about life in Japan. Okay, nice. Okay. And then I get up. I wake up. I get up early. All right. And then have breakfast and leave. Okay, so I have breakfast and Okay, and leave home at a quarter to eight. Very good, very good. How about the next one? I I get to work. I get to work or go to work? Which one? Go to work. I go to work. Okay, pay attention here because it says I go to work by car. car. So that means go not get i imagine what happens if i go to work but not in car bus how can i say that i go to work by bus okay so can you tell me everyone how do you go to work by car too by car good so you can say by car by bus, by taxi, maybe. Now, number eight. I. What is the answer in the number eight? I get to work. work. I get to work. All right. I get to work an hour later. Then. My home is very far from the office, so I work. I work. Finish. Number nine. Finish. I finish. Correct. I finish work at five o'clock and get home. Good job. And I get home every day at six o'clock. So get is a very useful verb. Instead of saying, ah, I arrive to my work. No, you can say just get work. Ah, I arrive to my home. No, you can say just get home. That's a very useful verb and I want you to start using it. Okay. How many correct answers did you have? 10? All of them? Uh-huh. How many correct answers? Eight. Eight correct answers. Good. And the rest of you, everyone? All right. Nine, very Nine. good. Nine, cool, excellent job. Very good, very good. Now, let's have listening practice. Listening is very important. I have here the information about Ellen. What time does Alan get up? At seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. What time does Alan get home? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Very good. So this is the information about Alan. Now we are going to listen to Paula. I want you to pay attention, please, and complete the chart. Okay? Pay attention in the question and pay attention in the answer too. 
Again, try to write the answers in your notebooks and then we are going to verify if the answers are correct or not. Microphones off, everybody, to avoid interferences. Pay attention. This audio is very easy, so take advantage about it. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at 9.30. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at 7 o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at 8.30. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Do you have the answers or do you want to listen to one more time? One more time, please. One more time. Perfect. I'm going to play it again. Pay attention, everyone. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at 9.30. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at 7 o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at 8.30. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 p.m. Uh -huh, everyone, do you have the answers? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? yes, teacher. Okay, what was the first question? That she gets up early at 7 a.m. All right, she gets up early, right? So, very good. Seven o'clock, seven o'clock, right? And what time does she leave home? Eight, eight o'clock. Always, right? Eight a.m. <laughs> o'clock. And how does she get uh, to work? Train. By train. By train. <clears throat> Good. And what time does she get to work? Ninety minutes Nine. later. Nine thirty. Good. And finish. What time? 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. o'clock. 7 p.m. o'clock. Ah, very good listener. And what time does she get home? 8.30. Yes. Very good. Imagine very late, right? And what time does she go to sleep? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock p.m. Very good. Excellent listening. Very good job. So imagine very difficult this schedule. She suffered because it's very far. But let me ask you, does she like um, her job? I think, I guess. According to the audio, what did she say? Does she like her job? Yes, the people are interns. Interns. Uh huh. She meets interesting people, right? So she, she said that she. Interesting people. Excellent. Very good. Now we are going to continue with this conversation. So, tell me about you. I'm going. Oops. So tell me about. You. Sorry, sorry. I got here the same conversation. But I want you to complete the questions. For example, in the question number one, so tell me about your typical day. What time 
Ah, I get up early at seven o'clock. What is the question there? Mm -hmm. Do you get up? What time? Do you get up? Do you get up? Do you get so, up? Tell me Are about you sure? your typical day. Oops. What time do you? So yes, what time do you get up? Then the next question: What time do you leave home? Da 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 da. The next one: What is the question here? Ah, I go by train. How do you work? How do you work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? How do you go to work? How do you go to work? That's the question. Very good. Next one. What time ta -da -da, to work? What do you think? What is the question? Do you get? What time do you oh. mm. get? What time do you get to work? Mm -hmm. Yes, what time do you get to work? Remember get is like arrive. Now look at the next one. Your work. Mm, yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What is the question here? Do you like your work? Do you like your work? Yes, or enjoy your work? Both are possible. Very good. Uh huh. The next one, what is the question? What time? Do you finish the work? Very good. Excellent. And next, ah, what time? Do you get home? All right. That's the one. And the last one, what time? Do you go to the bed? To bed, <laughs> very good. So, Easy questions in simple presence, everyone. And we are just talking about daily tasks. That that was the topic that we studied this week. Okay. Remember, simple present is for scheduled activities. That means that we specify the time. Okay. And also in these answers, you can also include frequency adverbs. So that is what I want you to do right now. I want you to ask the same questions that appears in the listening and everybody has to answer. Okay, try to give as many details as possible. Okay, and remember if you can use frequency adverbs, do it. For example, what time do you get up? You can answer with a frequency adverb. Ah, I always get up at 6 a.m. except on Sundays. On Sundays, I usually get up at 9 a.m., for example, okay? Try to give as many details as possible. So we are going to practice these questions, everyone. I know that some, uh, I think that we have some listeners today, but please everyone, if you can participate, do it, okay? Because the idea is that everybody talk, all right? Zero Spanish, the questions are very simple. So Spanish, not acceptable, okay? I already sent the questions on WhatsApp groups. The same instruction, if you are in a group where nobody's talking, let me know and I'm going to switch you to a different team, okay? So everybody, Let's go to work.
Raúl Carla. Hello, José. Ezequiel. Ezequiel. Este es oyente. No, he, uh, miren, mister. <laughs> well. Can you start, Carla? I ask no. I ask you. Uh, yeah. What time do you get up? Uh, I usually get up at 6.30 a.m. Okay. Mm. Uh, what time do you get up? I, uh, from my Monday to Friday, I get up at 3 15 a.m. Three? Yeah. 15. On Saturday and Sunday, I get up at five o'clock in the morning. Very early. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Jose Ezequiel? Yeah. Time do you get up? Hello. Ezequiel. <laughs> he lives. Well, the second question. What time do you leave home? Uh, I leave home about <laughs> um how put it in ten minutes. Uh, uh, 7.50 <laughs> yeah 7.50 I leave home at 3.45 3.45 yeah do yeah. you I, I take the bus at at 4 4, four, four a.m. yeah Okay. Nah. Next question is how do you go to work? Um I I, I go to work at car why car verdad? Yeah, you drive? No. Oh. My my boyfriend. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. I I take a bus. Yes. To from Monday to Friday. Oh, difficult. Yes. I early I early very early to go my work. Okay. Okay. What time do you leave to to leave home? I leave my home at four forty a.m. Okay. And you? I leave home at five five a.m. Five. Five a.m. Okay. How do you do? How do you go to work? I go to my work in car. Okay, my friend. By car. By car. You car. I sometimes go to the work at the bus. And Sunday in my car. Okay, what time do you get work? I get to work always seven seven a.m. Seven a.m. 
four hours from you get up. Sorry, number four. No, you, 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 you get four hours. Uh, get up to you to you to you arrive your work. You get up three a.m. Ah, okay. Um, alright. Okay, me voy. Me perdí. Uh, do you enjoy your work? Uh, yes, I join. Sorry, I enjoy working with system reports. I just need it. I just need it to work. Okay. Yes. Okay. How do you go to work? How? Um, well, I go to my work at car. By car. By car. Um, it's um, a good uh, benefit of my office that I have a company car and then oh. it's more easy to move in to, to my work because I have a, a one headquarter in San Martin and the principal headquarter in Santa Tecla, but I need to visit, to travel, to, to check my area in all um, the Pará Central zone. And, uh, this include uh, Chalatenango, uh, Cabañas with Ailo Vasco in San Santa Fe, um, Cuscatlán with uh, all the municip municip municipalities, and San Vicente y La Paz. And okay. I travel uh, a lot. Okay, you say you save a lot of money uh, because don't spend in gas. Yes, and the maintenance of the car uh, is responsible of my, my company. Yes, yes. And uh, Kenya, uh, how do you go to work? I usually go to work by bus, but um, my bus is very slow. And for the reason, sometimes I take a micro bus, but um, I have to walk six or seven blocks. <clears throat> Every day in the morning. And the bus is it a company bus or is it a no a public bus? Public, public bus. Okay. Yes. And Juan Jose, how do you go to work? Okay, when I have to go to my work, I go um, by car, by my car. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. The it next. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I think it, that if you uh, make a travel in, in bus, uh, <laughs> you need to, to get up to 1 a.m. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. yes. Okay. Okay. And what time do you get to work? Mm, you... Yes. Nice. What time do you leave home? I leave okay. home at... Four forty five of eto AM. Wow. How do you go to work? I go to work by bus. Okay. What time what time do you get to work? I get to work three hours. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 8 a.m.? A mm -hmm. You three hours. You get to work eight. Yeah. To work, to get to work at 8 a.m.? Mm, yes. 
usually mm. always mm. almost mm. almost always okay okay do you enjoy your work Yes, I enjoy my work. Okay. What time do you finish? Um, I finish at 5 p.m. What time do you get home? Three hours. I get home at... Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. We are going to wait for your classmates to go back. No, miss. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right. Aha, uh -huh. how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Um, mm, I think that is um more easy than 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 the first week. Ah, it's not easier. You are improving, everyone. You are improving. Now I can listen to your more confidence. You are answering like yes. Let's talk. Very good. I like that. Uh, in the first week, you were like a little bit shy, but now everybody sounds very confident. Hmm, talking and talking. Very good. And that's the idea because that's what I want. I want you to give details. Okay. I want you to feel um free to have a nice conversation sometimes i listened in some groups that they say do you enjoy uh, your work and if your classmate says yes immediately they say okay why and they start talking when they listen hey uh, what time do you get to work? Ah, I get to work at ta da da da. Oh, really? And wow, and you start talking. That's the idea. Okay, so super good job, everyone. I really liked it. Now, just be careful with some little details. Now, if I ask you, how do you go to work? Uh, I go in car. Is that correct? By car. Very good. We say by car. That's the correct proposition. So please be careful with this one. Again, what, uh, how do you, or what do you go to work? And sometimes some people answer, ah, I take my car. Hmm, is that correct? Can I say that? I take my car. Actually, not really, right? The best answer is always, I go by car. If you want to specify that is your car, so you can say, ah, oh, in my car, okay? That's the difference. So you can say, ah, oh, in my car. But the correct one is buy. All right. Now, next one. Uh, can you pronounce this time, please? What time is it? Five o'clock a.m. Ah, very good. Be careful with the numbers. I was listening to some people saying five. I get up at five. Hmm, five? No, five, all right? And sometimes we say 5 a.m. So 
am is this one. I am is this one. Be careful with the pronunciation, okay? Now, I get home 7 p.m. Is that correct? It's at 7 o'clock p.m. I'm sorry, can you repeat? 7 o'clock p.m. All right, yes, you can add the word o'clock, definitely, but it's missing something else. What do you think? It's missing something. I go home. Mm, I mean, the verb is correct, get home. It's like you arrive. Uh -huh. So this one is correct, but it's I missing something. Home. I get to home. Well, actually the preposition, you can add it, but it is not totally necessary. You can say just get home. What happens when we say the time? Ah, exactly, at. Ah, at. preposition, everyone. Always, when you say the time, you need to add the preposition at. Okay, be careful. Now, it's more easy. Can I say that? Maybe it's easier. That's the one, exactly. Remember, um, this is a topic that I'm sure that you already studied, the comparative adjectives. Easy is short adjective. So instead of saying more easy, we say easier. Oops, like this. So more, not necessary. So we just say it's easier, okay? Those are just the little details, everyone. So far, so good. I really like the way that you are speaking and giving more details. Please keep going, all right? Now, before continue, I forgot to check attendance. I'm going to do it again. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I'm going to do it right now. So if you listen to your names, please say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Atilio Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Blanca Elizabeth. Eh, let's see, let's see. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay, Henry Alberto. Here I am, teacher. Okay, Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Rocío. Karen Rocío. Okay. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay, Carol Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. The, is the first one or the, the second? No, this is the first one. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Nelson Orlando. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sandra Abigail. Present. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Okay. Jan Siquelita. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Marvin. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you guys. Now let's continue with the practice. Now let's review very fast. The frequency adverbs. This is a topic that you already know. What is the position of the frequency adverbs? For example, if I say, I eat hamburgers, and I want to include the frequency adverbs always. So, what would be the sentence? I, I always, always eat. Very good. I it's always eat hamburgers very good if it is in negative 
Where would I put the frequency adverb? Mm, I don't or don't always eat hamburger. All right. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, totally. What happens if I have the verb to be? Imagine that I say, I am happy, for example. Where do I set the uh, frequency adverb? I am always happy. Ah, very good. So with the frequency adverbs, that is what you have to remember, okay? If you have the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after, yes. right? If you have another verb, so the frequency adverb is before. That's the rule, okay? So let's have a quick practice. Look at this. I have different sentences here. I want you to tell me the sentence, but include the word in parentheses. For example, I have sushi for lunch. I want to say the sentence, but using the word often. What will be the sentence? I often have sushi for lunch. Very good. Excellent job. How about the number two? Volunteer for reading? This is a Vivek. name. Yes, teacher. Vivek is a name. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's a little bit weird. I think that the pronunciation is Vivek. Vivek. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vivek. Vivek doesn't always reply to emails. Nice job. Very good. So remember, if it is in negative, you need to set the frequency in the middle between the uh, um, auxiliary and the verb. Number three is a question, volunteer. What do you do over the weekend? All right. So uh, what do you, do you usually do over the weekend? So what do you usually do? That's yes. the one. Excellent job. Number four. I have the word to be in the number four. Angela is almost always at home at this time of day. Very good. Excellent job. And the last one, number five. <laughs> The story is normally closed on Saturday. Very good. That's the one. So the store is normally closed. Okay. Closed on Saturdays. This is the position for each frequency adverb. Okay. That is what you have to memorize. Questions about the frequency adverbs, everyone? Or is totally clear? Totally clear? Yes? No questions? Okay, let's have an exam. Okay, I'm going to show you some sentences. Choose the correct frequency adverbs. Again, imagine that this is an exam. Okay, so try to answer correctly. Now, let's see, because of the time, let's see, we are not going to answer all of them because there are so many. I have the first sentence. Look at this. I seldom visit my relatives. So I da, 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 see my John uncle. Look, I'm using the adverb seldom. So what do you think? What will be the best answer to complete the sentence? I usually see my uncle, or I almost never see my uncle, or I almost always see my uncle. Almost never. Almost never, that's great. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so the correct answer is letter B. Good job. Number two, volunteer for reading. 
I'm English. never late for our English class. I always on time. I am always on time. Do you agree, everybody? Uh huh. Everyone? Yes. Yes, that's the correct one. Look, yes, I'm never late. So what does it mean? That I am always on time. Good job. Number three, volunteer for reading. James goes to the beach only once a year. He... Almost what? never goes to the beach. Very good. That's the one. So imagine we are saying that only once a year. That means hmm, almost never. Very good. Okay, Tony, can you read the number four, please? Yes. My sister often reads a book in the evening. Okay, reads. Are you sure? Yes. Definitely. Very good. Remember, third person. Excellent. Okay, let's jump to the number nine. So, volunteer for reading the number nine. I went to a restaurant last week, but I usually eat at home. All right, good job, very nice, very nice. Okay, volunteer for the number 10, everybody participate. If you don't participate, I'm going to pick randomly. So number 10, who wants to read? Me. Yes, go ahead. She doesn't, uh, she, I'm sorry, let me see, she doesn't, finish work early. She doesn't usually finish work early because she is often busy. 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 Very good. That's the correct one. Excellent job. Aha. Uh -huh. 11. Volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay. Who say me first? <laughs> the boy. I heard the boy first. Go ahead. Okay. It never snow where I live, so I never make a snow one. Very good, that's the one, never. Okay, number 12, volunteer. Only one, please. We visit our grandparents three or four times a month. Very good. So remember, there are another type of frequency adverbs that are these phrases, three or four times. If you are talking about a month, you just need to add the letter A, three or four times a month. You cannot say, ah, three or four times the month. Mm -mm. You have to say a month. Okay, that was a practice about the frequency adverbs. Easy or difficult, everyone? Uh huh. Easy. Easy. Very good. Super good job. So, that was the topic that we have been studying during the week. Everybody, don't forget to complete the exam on the platform. Okay, now in this time that we have still, we are going to check some vocabulary. Okay, here I have some phrases. Some of these words are very easy. And if you find a new word, write it down, okay? We are going to see some vocabulary about sales. For example, we get the first one, sale. This is a verb. What is the meaning of sale? But don't tell me the translation in Spanish. Tell me the definition in English. What do you understand? What is the meaning of sell? What is that? Uh, 
when I give offer. some item and other people give me money for that item. Very good. Excellent. That's a good definition. Nice. So when someone sells a product, that person becomes a what? Seller. Seller. Let me ask you, are you a seller, everybody? Are you yeah. a seller? Uh -huh. All the time. <laughs> All the time, okay, or sometimes. Uh-huh, everyone, are you a seller? Yes, no, sometimes. sometimes, good. Now, purchase. Look, purchase can be a verb, but also can be a noun. What is the meaning of purchase? What do you think? Thank you for, for, for a product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you pay for a product or service? Exactly. Actually, purchase is a synonym of buy. So you can say, hey, I will buy a new car or I will purchase a new car. So they are synonyms, okay? Now, what is the meaning of buyer? What do you think? Is the person that needs the product. Very good, exactly. Negotiate, what is that? Hey, I need to negotiate this one. What do you think? With your words. I know that in Spanish, you understand what is that, but... When you talk about the product and need a different price that uh, is showed in the in the tag or in the catalog, you know, or, or, or something else. Very good, exactly. So you want to try to get an agreement. In another words, when you go, for example, to the market and you want to buy something. And you will start to negotiate with the seller. Another way to say this is in Spanish. How do we say this in Spanish? Regatear. Correct. <laughs> but if you want to say like that, we say bargain. Okay. So bargain is exactly like regatear. I know that in a very formal way, we say negotiate. But in an, a little informal way, you can say per game, okay? Next, exchange. What is that? Uh-huh. Imagine, if you have a cell phone and I have another cell phone and I say, you know what? I don't like my cell phone. I like yours. So we exchange, right? That could be a meaning for that. Now we got the next one. We got refund or refund. Teacher, this one can, yes? Excuse me, the exchange. Uh, can I use the cinnamon inter interchange or Mm. I don't know if the is if, if the the verb or the phrase exists, but um, another synonym maybe is a, a interchange or or have another synonym. No, actually, interchange is a very good synonym. Remember, interchange, exchange is just when you swap an object. Mm -hmm. You just Give me yours and I will give me, I will give you mine. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, refund can be a verb or a noun. What is that? Uh, 
Uh -huh. Any idea? Okay, imagine that you make a reservation in a hotel, but you get sick, so you cannot go to the hotel. So you call, and because you already paid, you say, hey, I won't be able to go to the reservation because I'm sick. Can I get my money back? So if the hotel gives you the money back, that is the refund, okay? When you get your money back, got it? Like a return. Exactly, that's the one. Now, guarantee. This is a little bit familiar. When you buy a product, they always say, you got a guarantee. Hmm, what is that? What do you think? I don't want the translation. I want the definition. What do you understand by guarantee? Um, if I, if they eating wrong, I can change. <laughs> Very good. Yes, with your words. Exactly like that. Very good job. Okay, lowest price. What does it mean? Cheap. Exactly. It's the cheapest one. Good job. What is the meaning of cash? Money. Physical money. That's the one. No, but money paper. Money paper, yes. Okay, that that's interesting. Everyone, <laughs> we cannot say money paper. Okay, how can I say that phrase in Spanish? I mean, we say billetes, right? So how can I say that? Efectivo. But in English. <laughs> oh, oh. Effective money. Mm, not really. Yeah. Uh huh. Bills. Sorry, what what is the question? How can we say money like physical money, but in English? Sometimes we can say bill, yes, mm -hmm. but actually the most common one is Box. note. Exactly. If you say note, this is like the money physically. Okay, the paper. That you want is the people. If say bucks, give me 10 bucks. It's true also, but they well, means when awesome. they say box, they most likely means dollars, like 10 bucks, so dollars. So you can pay it by credit card or anything else. But if you say okay. notes specifically, that means paper, okay? So if you are talking about cash, we means paper, the money that you can touch, right? We are not talking about physical, I mean, we are not talking about credit cards, anything like that. Okay, the next, in stock. Have you ever seen this word? What is the meaning? Yes. Inventario. A product available. Available yeah. product, exactly. You want to buy a laptop? You go to the store and they have a lot of laptops. So that means that the laptops are in stock. What is the opposite? Without stock. Out of stock, oh. okay? So imagine you say, hey, I need a laptop. And they say, I'm sorry, we don't have more. <laughs> so out of stock, okay? Discount, what is a discount? Like a low price. Exactly. Imagine the laptop is one hundred dollars. So the seller said, "You know what? Just for today, I will give the laptop at eighty dollars." So you got a discount. Retail. Hmm. What is that? Retail. I'm sorry. 
adjusting. Okay. It's a minority seller. That's the one. Exactly. So retail is a person that sells products, but like in a small way. Okay. Not like a big supermarket. It's small. And the opposite of retail, it will be wholesale. Wholesale is a person who sells like in a big amount, right? The last one, complaint. So this is a noun. The verb is complain. So complaint, what is that? I don't remember. It's like a ticket or something like that. Mm, could be. Complaint. Imagine uh, if I'm not happy with my products. Uh, let's keep it simple. Oh, okay. A very a person yeah, yeah, yeah. angry. Uh, <laughs> angry person that doesn't like the product or, or observation of the of the service. Right. My money. <laughs> Just imagine when the when the internet yes, yes, when the exactly. internet uh -huh, when the internet doesn't work. What do we it's, do? We yes, a factory, Claro. Claro. When Tio <laughs> take down, you know, <laughs> you send you send an email and complain. You say exactly. The, the bad thing in the world. <laughs> okay, lucky that. Okay, I, I want to be clear. Yo no uso ninguno de los dos, okay? Así que, uh, I'm out of this business. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't like, I don't like. I don't use some service. Oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, that's a complaint, okay? Good, these are the vocabulary. If you see kind of easy, so the idea is to use it. Now we are going to do a practice. I want to see if you paid attention during the quick explanation. So we are going to work, um, well, not this one. Vamos a hacer another practice a little bit because it's, we don't have a lot of time. Look, we are going to be in teams and I got here the definitions and I got here the words. Of course, you just need to choose the correct definition. For example, look at the first one. To sell in large quantities. Hmm. Walls. What is Walls. that? Walls. Walls. Wholesale. Wholesale. So you have to write the number 15 right here. Okay, so that is what you are going to do with all of them. Read carefully, please. When you finish, you just have to click here in finish and then click here in check my answers. And at the end, you will see your score, how many correct mm -hmm. answers you got. Got it? Yes? No, it's difficult. <laughs> you will <laughs> team, so. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group, everyone. So please, you can open up, right? I'm going to create Teams again. Um, please, everybody, try to participate again. Remember that the idea to do it in Teams is that could be easier, all right? So I got the Teams. If you are working here, don't translate. No se vale decir, ¿y qué es wholesale? Ah, el mayorista. No, I don't want to listen to Spanish, all right? So we got 10 minutes, everyone. Let's go to work. but fine. And your camera is not on. Yes, because I have um, pijama. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Have you available? Are you Hi. Okay. Hi. Your camera? Yes, I'm here. Only me with the camera. Hmm. Today is Friday. 
and me. <laughs> you have a beer in your hand. <laughs> Keep keep the camera on. Come on. I want to see you. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. I'm going to imagine how are you dressed and your hair and um no. <laughs> okay. Try to um, unscramble this this vocabulary uh, about sales. A statement that a situation is unsatis unsatisfactory or unacceptable. Sixteen. Um, Sixteen. What number? Sixteen. Sixteen complain. Yes. What is a statement? A statement is it means a statement. A statement, a statement. Sounds like a statuto. No. Of declarations. Of declaration that a okay. situation. Okay. Uh, refund has changed, negotiate buyer purchases, refund or the lowest price. Yeah. Okay, I agree with this. And and our company, Michelle, he lives. Okay, the action of giving money to obtain, get a product. Sell, so, number one. Are you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Available for immediate 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 in immediate sale in a store in stock 11 mm -hmm. yes For, purchase purchase the person who paid to have to item or product no, it's buyer. It's I think verb. this is buyer. Yeah. And purchase is a verb. When the money used to buy something, it's returned to Noah. No. no. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Um, Abigail is here. Yes. Yes, she's yes. here. Okay, Abigail, are you a listener or can you participate? Mm, participate. Okay, um, I have a team that they have only two. Can I switch you to the other team so you can help them, please? Okay. Okay. Okay, very good, thank you. Okay, you continue, guys. Okay. okay. Number three. Yes, purchase. Oh, purchase. Uh, the person who paid to have the hidden product? No, because purchase is the verb, it's an action. It's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling small quantities. Seller small quantities. Where is that? To give a product in yes, for yes, money. Yes, to give a product, yes. I mm -hmm. think that this is. Yes. To swap one thing for another thing. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's is just to give a product and change. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Mm, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that purchase okay. is, purchase is similar to buy. Yes, I yes. think it's the swap one thing for another thing, but I don't know what. It's a buyer. Here. The person who buy to have item products, the action of giving money to obtain a product. What no? Which number? Um, I think so. It's a it's a buyer. It's number four or three. Purchase. Purchase. Mm, purchase is is a uh, number three. The action of giving money to obtain get a product. <laughs> the next is 11. Can you stop? Yes. To what one thing for another thing. Um, this, this one, I, I have a I'm not sure that this is the, the, the deduction price. The 13 I think is to have lowest a price. lower price on the product is and this, the 13. I don't know. What do you think? Nego say five. No, but negotiate is this one a conversation where each person or site involved agrees to a specific price for an item. Mm -hmm. I think to have a lower price is, is the five. lowest price or this one a deduction from the usual cost discount maybe I did sound that this a is a discount and this to have a lower price lowest price money in coins or not cash number 10 and unavailable for immediate 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 sale in a store out of stock 12 well okay let me see if we have all the questions and <coughs> it what? doesn't repeat the number one Give a product in a share of money, sell. Number two, the person who sold the product, seller. Number three, purchase. The action of giving money to obtain and get a product. Yes. Number four, the person who paid to have the item of products, the buyer. Negotiate a conversation where each person or site involves agree to a specific price for an item. Mm, no. This is a conversation that, and the negotiation, the negotiation. 11, a viable, a yes. viable for, in, uh, yes. Yes. Available for immediate sale. Uh, yes. In a store. Okay. Yes. To sell in the large quantities. Wholesaler. Wholesaler. Wholesales. 
false self. I think it's the thing in the fair one. Yes. I promise that something will do as described or will be replaced, repaid in case the product does not do as described. You got two more minutes. Warrant, warranty. Okay, teacher. What do you think? Warranty, I think. Yes. Okay. Screen. Screen. Oh my gosh. Uh, Very good job. You send the send the group. Yes, yeah, send it. Very good job. Ya ven. Cuando se pone atención, right? Cuando se esfuerza. Very good. Nice job. Excellent. I'm going to check another team and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay? Okay. In stock. Okay, so everyone. Hi, teacher. We don't have more time. I need to uh, see the score. Okay, 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 okay. It's time for the truth. Da 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 da. Wow! Congratulations, Tony. Very good job. <laughs> you see, si se puede. I'm going to check just one more team, and then let's go back to the main room. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, everybody. The other teams already finished, so I need okay. to see your score. Dun, 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 dun. No, the other one. Check my answer. Check my, check my answer. answer. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Only <well>. one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. The action of giving money to obtain a product. Okay, and the other one? What was the other one? To, to give a product in exchange change. for money. Hmm. Okay. So what was the correct <laughs> answer? Flip, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but super good job. You did it great. Let's go back to the main room, okay? okay. <laughs> I, I like that sound. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay. All right, time's up. We don't have more time, but very good, actually. Good job. I think we should do the exams in groups, right? If we do the exams in groups, we will get very good results. So easy or difficult, the practice? What do you think? Uh-huh. Yeah. Easy, easy. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Look, the idea is I want you to be able to analyze and I want you to be able to explain. If I say, okay, what is the meaning of, or what is a telephone? Everybody knows what is a telephone, but could you explain me what a telephone is? That's what I want. Imagine if we say, eh, what do you do at work? Oh, I'm a manager. And if I ask you, and what is that? What is a manager? I want you to be able to explain. That's the idea. Now, before leaving, I'm just going to check attendance one more time. If you listen to your name, say present. Abigail Mejia. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia. Andrea Amalia, no? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Blanca Elizabeth. Okay. Um, let's see. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Henry Alberto. I'm here. Jorge Antonio. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Ezequiel. Present teacher. Okay. Jose, eh, Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. 
Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent. Karen Rocío. Karen Rocío. Carla Sofía. Present. Okay. Ken, eh, Carol Elizabeth. Present teacher. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Right. Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Stephanie Michelle. Present teacher. Jan Siquelita. Jose Marvin. Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So everyone, we don't have more time. We're going to stop right here. As always, there is a winner and the one who has to stay today is Carla Sofia. Carla Sofia, are you there? Yes. Excellent. Okay, everybody. Um, don't forget to do the exam. Okay. Try to do it today as soon as possible and to finish the unit number two. So good luck and see you until Monday. Have a beautiful weekend, everyone. Goodbye. See Goodbye. you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See Happy you on Monday. Weekend. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Have you a nice too. Weekend. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, Carla, how are you? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel today? Mm, better, better than Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Monday. Okay, sounds good. So it's Friday. Any plans for the weekend? Mm, yes, I have a wedding. <laughs> you have a, a what? Wedding, wedding. A wedding. Are you going to get married? Uh, no, no. My uh, cousin. <laughs> oh, your cousin. <laughs> okay, sounds My good. Cousin. All right. And, um, and are you married? No. No yet? No yet. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. So this session is just to clarify some questions that you may have. All right. About the class or about the, the platform or the program. So if you have a question, this is the moment. Any questions that you may have? Yes. In the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me. In a uh, homework. In one homework, uh -huh. I seen two. I tried two times and ever, <clears throat> ever brown the little the eaten one. Okay, in which ones? A uh, unit what, uh, mm -hmm. one or in the unit two? In the I okay in the unit one. Okay, let's see. Let me share the platform, no worries. So in the number one, in the question one, you mean? Let me see if it is charging. Uh, this is the number three, oh, my gosh. Okay, give me a second, cause it's a little bit slow. Did you take a screenshot by the way? Mm, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When it's... when you had an issue, please always um try to take a screenshot, because that is going to help us. You know to see what exactly uh, the exercise is, so I can try to fix it. So I am here in the week number one. I think number one. This is the one. Mm -hmm. No. Next. <laughs> okay, no worries. Let's see the next one. Yes. That one? Yes. Which one? Uh, number one. 
in the number one. Okay, uh, you have to unscramble the words from the sentences. Great mm -hmm. study will be a broad eat opportunity to be at. Okay, give me the answer that you consider is the one. I don't remember. I <laughs> jelly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo le puse, I work with too many people. Okay, but you said that is the number one. This one? Um, or which one? Number two, number three? Is aleatory. Ah, okay. Read, read the sentence then. So I will work, I will find it here. Great, great study will be. I think it's six, six. Mm. The five great study will be. Ah, this one. Great study will be a broad eat opportunity to a. Uh. That one? Uh-huh. Okay. So in this case, remember, we are using would be. be. All right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what is the subject here? Or what are you talking here? Study. Okay, study, perfect. And then study, what is the meaning mm. of abroad? Mm. For example, when you study in another country, that is abroad. Mm. So Come study on. abroad. Beca. Uh-huh, not necessarily like a scholarship, it's just in another country. So imagine que, que sus padres le digan, ¿sabes qué? Te vamos a mandar a la Universidad de Estados Unidos. Eso sería study abroad. Abroad. Mm -hmm. abroad. Okay, study so abroad. study abroad sería genial, sería feo. What do you think? Would be great. Uh -huh. Would be great. Would be A great, okay, a great opportunity. That's the idea. But what happens here? We got it to an A. Uh. So, ¿a dónde vamos a colocar esas? So, let's change. It puede ser nuestro subject. Y podemos decir... Uh -huh. It would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Abroad. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try with that one and let's see if it is correct. Look, <laughs> it would be it would a great be... opportunity to study abroad. It would be... Mm -hmm. A great, a great opportunity, exactly, a great opportunity to study a world. To study abroad, yes. Ah, es que lo escribí. <laughs> That happens. A veces lo que hay que hacer es lo colocamos de una forma y no nos da. Ok, revisemos siempre que usemos todas las palabras que aparecen acá. Uh, como el tip que tenemos que usar siempre. Asegurémonos de que todas las palabras que estén ahí uh -huh. vayan dentro de la oración. Okay. Uh, the, the, ¿Cómo se dice error en inglés? Error. Error? error? Or the mistake? Uh, the mistake is I uh, bribe a bar. <laughs> ah, my goodness. That's another thing. Remember that these exercises mm -hmm. están configurados para revisar todo. Entonces, si yo, por mm -hmm. ejemplo, en lugar de escribir great, le quito la letra A y solo pongo great, automáticamente, uh -huh. look, ya me lo toma como equivocado. Mm -hmm. Entonces, hay que ser muy cuidadosos en cuanto al spelling, porque con una letra que no escribamos bien, ya automáticamente nos toma run the exercise. Okay, so. Pero vale, vale. Creo que me falta study opportunity. Ah. Ah, okay, be careful. 
it will be a great opportunity to mm -hmm. study abroad. Exactly. Así que, yes, pay attention always in every single word, in every single letter, because at the contrary, it will be a mistake. Okay. I think uh, is or, or, ¿cómo es? Put in order. Mm -hmm. Is difficult. <laughs> Could be, yes. And not, not only for you. Some of your classmates think the same. Some of your classmates say, oh, I am scrambled. The words is the most difficult. And it's very Scrum. common. Yeah. But with the practice, with the practice. Now, you are doing a great job, Carla. I like because you participate in class. Please keep going. Please. Okay, uh, try to participate. Entre más participe, much better because a better score you will have. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. according to the platform, uh, well, let me see. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Carla, Carla. Exam. <laughs> yes, that's what I want to see right now. Uh huh. So, Carla, actually, you haven't done the exam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so uh, try to do it. Okay, uh, I will try to check uh, all the scores. I know that today is difficult to do it. I will do it. I will check tomorrow at 8 a.m. So, but you have to do it all as soon as possible. Okay? Yes. Very Today. good. <laughs> Excellent. Do it. Good luck. Yeah. You can do it. Any other question Thanks. that you may have? Mm, no. Okay. Very no. good, Carla. So, no. good night. Have a good, good night. weekend. See you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye. Thank you. Bye.